Okay, we're back again. Taking another, getting them, cutting down the, the uh, California trips here. This time we're taking JCB2 or JCB 260 Echoes from San Rafael to Fresno. We got 21 hours remaining in the contract. Stand to earn 3277. We're taking a Peterbilt 579 duty cab, 370 horsepower. 1,350 foot-pounds of torque and an Eaton Fuller 10-speed transmission. So, let's just hop right in here. We're going to get ourselves lined up for our pick chore. There's our pick chore. Okay, so let's set the parking brake. Let's hop in the cab. Let's start the truck. Turn on our driving lights, parking lights. And get ourselves situated here. Get all comfy in the cab. Let's put it in gear. Of course, I'm driving an automatic, so I don't have the clutch pedal, so it doesn't matter whether I have the shifter or not. I finally figured that out some time ago. All right, take off the parking brake. And let's... Whoops, I guess we'll go to the other side of the pole. Okay, 237 miles, 6 hours and 10 minutes. Estimated arrival time at oh, two Safeway trucks and the wine train and well, just all kinds of things there. Uh, estimated arrival a little after 9, about 9.15. So after all of this, after discovering all the cities here, I keep thinking about this and I have two steam, two steam achievements to uh, complete. And I'll probably do it with company trucks because it'll be easier to go to the places. I still have two, two or two something for the Powell, the Powell journey, and uh, I don't. It, uh, there's another one that's making delivery or taking deliveries from three of the. Uh, wineries in California, but it doesn't it doesn't have a, a a bar on it saying um how many I've made. And I know I've made deliveries from at least this one twice, I think. So, with using the company trucks, I can just hop from the winery to winery to winery and make my three deliveries and uh, 
have that one out of the way also. So we're slowly at 90% of steam achievements because I don't have that Powell's journey. I think I have two more two more discoverable or two more spots on that. Oh, almost gonna turn down where he was for it. Cut off one car there, but I'm sure he'll get over it. through going through Sacramento again FedEx ground truck FedEx delivery truck yellow cab a few SUVs As you drive and you sit and you look at a few things, especially your part, you can see some of the details that are not really noticeable when you drive by. Oop, I'm speeding again. Little park benches and bicycles and back there at the intersection there was a coke machine or a soda machine and an ice machine sitting there a little fenced area
Margolin. So either you can pass me or stay behind me. Don't matter. Once you get on the freeway, then time just flies. Very right here to set my cruise control if I can. Nope, never mind. Stockton. Yeah, I was going to race out my cruise control, but then, okay, well, we're getting off here, so not a lot of sense in that. Make sure we're going the right way. I could have got off. I could have gotten another another exit at least probably on the freeway. Try it. Let's see the, what this does to the map thing. If I get off this other exit. That makes a lot of difference because, well, I think it's time to turn on my headlights. Yeah, I could have done that. Oops. Eight o'clock, street lights just came on. Or parking lights, street lights. Outdoor lights. your horror at me because I'm sitting in a red light. Get back to days of my youth. This would have been the main Highway 99, would have been the main north south corridor from California up into 
uh, up through Washington. Days before freeways. Kind of hard remembering all that, but. Occasionally something comes back to my mind and, yeah, well, that wasn't the main road. Sometimes get on these back roads, not really back roads, but like, Well, some, some of the places I've been, you're kind of on a two-lane, four-lane road paralleling the freeway, and that used to be the old main road. Once you get on the freeway, then all this get all the time gets cut back. We're down just a little over an hour, and a little, little under an hour and a half now. Before we go any farther, I'm gonna check the map here. Okay, that's. Oh, they're discoverable here, too. All right. So, we'll just keep... Yeah, we'll just get off here. Oh, and we want to turn this way. Almost 10 o'clock. There's not a whole lot to look at. Can't sit there and point out that something's coming up. Fresno discovered. Along with discoveries come traffic lights. Thirteen hours for deliveries it has to be made. So we're doing pretty good. Carl's 
Jr. Where? That <clears throat> kind of reminds me of years ago. Back in the mid 70s, uh, Colorado had uh, Burger Kings. And I had eaten at you know, Burger King. Well, particular time I liked the food. And, uh, One day I was sitting there, and a few years later, a couple of years later, a couple three years later, I was sitting there watching TV one night. And they had, like, in the course I was watching a movie, and during the course of this movie, there was like three or four ads for Burger King, and I kind of, well, I haven't had Burger King in a couple three years, so I went and started checking. And there were no Burger Kings in the Seattle area at that time. But they were getting ready to open. So they were like pre-advertising. Uh, pre-advertising their... Get people interested in it or whatever. like, oh, I don't know, six, eight, ten months later before they actually opened one. No. Like, Carl's Jr. here, I didn't know about those till I moved to, uh, up into the Spokane area. Oh no! And of course, everybody has their local, their local burger joints or burger chains or whatever. Just a little while ago. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Four-way flushers, put the truck in reverse, and you know what's going to happen next. Uh, don't get overconfident here or anything. Now. 
and there it is. Okay, take it out of gear. Put on the parking brake. Turn off the toy flashers. Disconnect our gear. Or disconnect our trailer. And another job completed that is excellent. San Rafael to Fresno, 254 miles, 8 hours and 32 minutes, 53.9 gallons of fuel, made $3,277 and 295 experience points. There are only 13 levels from getting that Argosy. Level 21, I think, to get the Argosy. Anyway, so if you liked what you saw, if you liked what you seed, go ahead and press like. Do you want to continue on watching, seeing how I'm covering California and my discovery? Uh, press that other subscribe. That's it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and that's it for this load.